So today in this video, I will be doing an unboxing and sound test of the JBL Charge 4 and then I'll be telling you all my opinion about it. Without wasting much time, let's begin. So as you can see here is the packaging, nice presentation we have here. Uh, flipping it over to the other side, it's written here 20 hours of playtime. It's IPX7 waterproof and then it also has an inbuilt power bank so you can charge your devices on the go which is really really good. It's also equipped with the JBL Connect Plus feature. Not JBL Connect but JBL Connect Plus. So let's unbox this quickly. Uh, let me turn it this way. Well, so as you can see opening the box you have a very nice photo at the top here. It says play and charge endlessly and at the top here it's written charge 4. Yep, so let me just take this out and then you have the speaker. Let me just take it out. Wow. It's got some weight to it. Uh, let me put that aside and then let me see what else we have in the box. Uh, let me just take these out quickly. Okay, you have a pack here containing some accessories. Uh, first of all here you have a standard USB to USB-C cable for charging it up. Let me put that down. At the other side you have a quick start guide and your warranty information. That's pretty much all that's in the box, nothing else. Uh, let's get back to the speaker itself. There is the speaker itself as you can see. Very nice design. Very rugged. You can easily fit these in a bag and you are good to go. So it's got a 30 watts output power. So hopefully it's going to pack quite a lot of punch. You have the JBL logo at the front here. And then you have your JBL Connect Plus button at the top here. And then you have your volume rockers. And then you have the play and pause button. And then you have your power switch. And then you have your Bluetooth Connect button. At the sides you have the passive radiators, pretty similar to that on the JBL Extreme 2. JBL calls it the 3D passive radiators. Opening the flap you have your ports. You have a standard USB port here for charging devices on the go. And then you have your 3.5mm auxiliary port for wired listening. And then you have your USB-C port for charging these up. Thank goodness these use USB-C. That's pretty much all for ports. Underneath you have your battery indicator here. It's time for the sound test. Please put on your headphones as this is going to be a binaural recording. So let's test this out and see how it sounds.
Well, as you've all heard, it has a pretty balanced sound. I'm pretty impressed. Considering you don't have tweeters on these, you have to bear that in mind. You only have one single driver on the JBL Charge 4. Not as loud as I expected it to be, but it sounds pretty balanced and uh, the treble is not uh, that underwhelming, if you ask me. It didn't really sound muffled as I thought it was going to be. Uh, it sounds pretty clear and balanced. You have a very nice bass. The bass is not really boosted. It just sounds natural. Anything above 60%, you lose a bit of bass. 50 to 60% volume is the sweet spot. I'm curious to know how this sounds uh, when compared to the XB21 and the JBL Flip 4. I'll be doing further sound tests. Make sure you are subscribed to see that. The only problem is that it's quite pricey. Yeah, it's not cheap. Uh, you can get uh, good sounding speakers for I think almost half the price of these. Be sure to check the link in the description section for updated prices of these. As always, feel free to check out other nifty gadgets on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I am Ezekiel and I will see you all in the next video. Adios.